The False Fulfillment Citation Series. The False Fulfillment Citation Series is dedicated to the top 10 false fulfillment citations that the New Testament and the modern missionaries use to convince the unlearned to adhere to the idolatry found in the New Testament. The top 10 go-to verses for the Christians are as follows. Genesis 3.15, Deuteronomy 18.15-16, Psalm 16.10, Psalm 22.16, Psalm 110, Isaiah 7:14, Isaiah 53, Daniel 9:26, Matthew chapter 2, Acts chapter 2. This brief PowerPoint will deal with book number two in the False Fulfillment Citation series. Who was the prophet like Moses? From your midst, like Moses. Deuteronomy 18 and 15. The Lord thy God will rise up unto thee, a prophet from the midst of thee of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. The part of the verse that is skipped over is from your midst, not from heaven or from God becoming a man. A question for the Trinitarian community is, if Jesus is God, are we to believe that God was like Moses? Deuteronomy 18 is retelling an event, Exodus 20 and 19. And they said unto Moses, speak thou with us and we will hear but let not God speak with us, lest we die. The people made a request. What was the request? The people did not want God speaking to them directly. So from that point on, prophets were designated to give the nation the words of God. Deuteronomy 5 and 27. Go thou near and hear all that the Lord our God shall say, and speak thou unto us, all that the Lord our God shall speak unto thee, and we will hear it and do it. When was the prophet like Moses to appear? Deuteronomy 5 and 28. And the Lord heard the voice of your words when ye spake unto me. And the Lord said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken unto thee. They have said well all that they have spoken. I have heard the voice of the words of this people. This is ignored because it gives a time frame of when the prophet like Moses was to take effect. There were prophets like Moses before he died and after. The spirit that was on Moses was given to Joshua and the 70 elders, and they also gave prophecy. Numbers 11, 25. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the 70 elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. There were many prophets like Moses. A prophet like Moses was simply someone that would direct Israel to obey the law when they were out of line, like we see over and over again. These prophets were judges, priests, and kings. Joshua, Othniel, Samson, Samuel, David, Jeremiah, Haggai. These prophets and others all had to be obeyed. They were sent from the midst of Israel, and none required any type of worship or the drinking of their blood, or eating of their flesh. None require anyone to pray to them or be baptized in their name. None promised eternal life to those that would eventually die. Moses did none of these things. He was a savior that saved, not a savior that will save when he returns. To say Jesus was the awaited prophet of Deuteronomy 18, you must ignore Exodus through Malachi and all the prophets that are in these books. Whom the Lord knew face to face, we do not read once in the New Testament the phrase, thus saith the Lord, to any writer of the New Testament, unless they are quoting the former prophets. What does like Moses mean? There was one unique thing about Moses. Visions and dream was the way the other prophets received prophecy. Moses was not in this league. He was spoken to face to face as a man speaks to his friend. Numbers 12, 2 through 8, Exodus 33 and 11. Deuteronomy 34, 10 through 12 tells us, and there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. And in all signs and the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. And in all that mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. Herod, the king of Judea, asked to see miracles from Jesus. He did not witness any signs and wonders like Moses did in the sight of Pharaoh. Luke 23, 
8 through 11. Was Jesus forsaken? Jesus was ignored when he was being executed and was forsaken according to his own testimony. Matthew 27 and 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? If he was not forsaken, he said something that was not true. Why would he think he was forsaken if he was God or doing the will of God? Wasn't he supposed to die? Was he afraid of men or death? Matthew 10 and 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Proverbs 29 and 25. The fear of a man bringeth a snare. But whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Joshua 1 and 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Deuteronomy 18 and 15. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee of thy brethren, like unto me. And to him ye shall hearken. Joshua 1 and 17. According as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so we will hearken unto thee only. The Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. Joshua 3 and 7. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. A prophet like Moses is the office of being a prophet for all generations. Deuteronomy 18 and 18. I will raise them up, a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I should command him. Hosea 1 and 1. The word of the Lord that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. Prophecy continued immediately after Moses. Joshua 6 and 26. And Joshua adjured them at that time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that raises up and buildeth the city Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. 1 Kings 16 and 34. In his days did he ail the Bethelite build Jericho. He laid the foundation thereof in Abiram his firstborn, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua the son of Nun. The prophets after Joshua. Jeremiah 1 and 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Ezra 5 and 1. Then the prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and in Jerusalem and in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. Zechariah 8 and 9. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. Ezekiel 33 and 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the words at my mouth and warn them from me. The test of a prophet. Deuteronomy 18, 21 through 22. And if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord have not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. But the prophet that has spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Mark 9 and 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. No one standing there saw Jesus come back with power. This was a false prophecy. More false prophecy. Matthew 10 and 23. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Jesus did not return in the time frame he gave. Another false prophecy. 
Miracles can be done by false prophets, so do not be amazed at this. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 14, Acts 8, 9 through 11, sorcery was used to convince people a sorcerer had the power of God. John 2 and 11, the miracles, not the fulfilled prophecy, was what got the minds of the disciples. Jesus lies about John the Baptist. Jesus says John was the greatest prophet. He said John was Elijah and that Elijah has already come first and will restore all things. John denied these claims and did not restore anything. John 7 and 28, John 1, 19 through 21, Matthew 17, 11 through 13, Acts 1 and 6. The disciples called Jesus out about Elijah restoring all things. And what does he say? It is not for you to know. Earlier, he told them he had all authority, but now he can't give that information because his father makes that decision. They already asked him, what would be the sign of your coming? He told them all about signs and wars, but now that he was executed and about to leave without them having relief from the Romans, he has a new story. The restoration of Israel was not going to happen as he said. Elijah nor John fulfilled this false prophecy he gave. He said he fulfilled the Jubilee, which should have given them all their land back in Luke 4, 17 through 21. They should have been redeemed, but he calls them fools for saying this. Jesus makes himself subject to go to hell according to his own standards. Matthew 5 and 22, Matthew 23 and 17, Luke 24, 21 through 25. They hoped he would redeem them. He calls them fools for not believing in what he did not accomplish, although he said he was finished. John 17 and 4, John 19, 28 through 30. Leviticus 25, Isaiah 61, 1 through 4, Ezekiel 46 and 17, Luke 4, 17 through 21. The acceptable year of the Lord or the Jubilee was not experienced. The Romans were in control at his birth and after his execution. The Egyptians were in control of Israel at the birth of Moses, but not after he died. Jesus was not like Moses unless you want to say he made sins like Moses. He argued with God like Moses. He was punished like Moses. The death of Moses brought about no salvation. In fact, Moses said after he would die, they would start to disobey. Jesus told someone today, you will be with me in paradise. If 1,000 years is a day in the eyes of God, it's been two days and some change and no paradise for the other executed man next to Jesus. Another false prophecy, which is another strike, according to Deuteronomy 18, 21 through 22. These topics and many more are covered in the False Fulfillment Citation Series, books 1 through 10. All books are available at www.amazon.com in paperback and Kindle formats. Thanks for your time and armor yourself with the knowledge to defend yourself from the idolatry of the New Testament that has been attached to the Tanakh.